Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Nuzlocke Challenge. Today we are playing at the Plank of the Gang. One of my main picks from a few years ago, and I have had some people go like, Huz, please play Gangplank again. It was one of my favorite picks, or it's the pick that I found you on. And I have been thinking about it, so we're going to pick him up or play him this game and see how it goes. It will be quite underwhelming if we go right back on Gangplank and he gets eliminated from the series. That would be like, oh. Um, I've just spotted something that makes me very scared. 800 games of Yumi. <laughs> anyway, we've got two duos. We've got my team mid jungle and the enemy team uh, both solo lanes. We're against a passive Aurelia. That, yes, please. Jesus Christ. Aurelia has to use lane advantage like our Renekton game. If she doesn't do that, we're laughing on Gangplank. Um, their comp's pretty good, though. Their comp is scary. Ours isn't bad, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I do have a, a fun story to tell, by the way, about um, Maya, my dog. As you all know, if you don't, she's staying with basically my in-laws now. Um, just to help us out a bit, she's going through really bad teething and quite bad biting. Uh, it's getting better. Uh, we're kind of we're staying with the in-laws every weekend to be with her. And we're getting her back. I think we're roughly aiming for December the 9th. But I have a really nice story um, that I, I think you guys will like. So... We're staying in Queen Pleb's old bedroom, and it's got obviously Maya's crate in it for nighttime. And the routine, obviously, is she wakes up around, you know, 7, 7 a.m. or something like that. And Queen Pleb will take her down, do a pee, and kind of begin the day. So it was really sweet that she woke up. Um, we put the light on and I was awake at this point anyway and normally we'd kind of pick her out the crate and go just take it down straight away but she didn't want that she was like I want to see me so she came to me gave me a bit of a cuddle it was really nice really friendly and it was lovely and then it was like right go do your toilet business and begin the day I'll be down in like an hour or something she Queen Pleb pick, picked her up, took her down, because she, she do, does do stairs now, but we're not letting her do stairs as soon as she wakes up, because she's a bit groggy. Um, anyway, she went down. We're putting a lead on her, and just so when she goes, does the business, she has a little bit, is a bit more controllable. Oh, dear. Um, so Queen Pleb put the lead on, and then she bolted back upstairs to me. So she jumps on the bed, and I'm like, oh, hello. Um go do, so she came up for a bit more cuddles was a bit excited but it was lovely and then queen pleb followed got her again right let's go to the toilet let's go pee she did her business and the moment that she was back inside the moment the lead is off she bolted straight back up to me for cuddles it was really special um honestly like as you all know like i've struggled a bit with her um oh dear I've struggled a bit with her because, like, I've never had a dog before, and I've, I'm not scared of dogs at all. I love, I love dogs, but I've always been a little bit apprehensive, uh, if I'm completely honest. And that moment, I will just say, was the moment that I fell in love with my dog. And I, I, oh, it re, it, oh god, sorry, my mother, it really got to me, um, in like the best way possible. So I miss her uh, a lot, and it really, really got to me. And what was actually kind of crazy is she's really, really attached to Queen Pleb. Like, if you, you know, every dog you could say has their main human, it's Queen Pleb. Like, no doubt in my mind. But weirdly, over the last weekend, uh, like Friday and Saturday, she was like glue to me um, for like the first time ever. It was really nice. It was really nice. All right. When Poripus has said passive Aurelia, now that I've finished my story, I can stop telling it now, I guess. She's nearly... Well, she's been crazy aggro. That's going to lead her to have no mana. She's running Ignite, so she can't just TP back to maintain pressure. It's actually not that bad for me. Um, 
I misplayed that. I should have gone aggressive and we would have traded. Ah, sorry. I was just really distracted. I lost my ship, Actually. But not my soul. Do cull. I mean, yeah, if you play a really a passive, you're playing probably some like you're playing it completely and utterly wrong. So you have to play aggro. But yeah, my bad. I probably should pay more attention to the actual league game, but my vengeance will I'm a pleb. Bloody. She's basing there. I think she would have gone back by now. Yeah, story's complete. Let me go. An ally has been slain. To be fair, the one thing with my gangplank, maybe I should have also gone grass, but I just realized I'm against an Aurelia. Um, I've never been, even at my peak of gangplank, I've never been a what I would call a lane phase gangplank. Um, my speciality in gangplank was always late game team fights. Uh, yes, this is from the Ruined King video game, this skin. Hey, Zyphus Cafe, dude. Back from a, a little holiday. Nice. I think my next... Well, again, Christmas. I will be taking time off for Christmas, but it's not really a holiday, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, going away on a break. Um, my next holiday, I think we're actually planning, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Um, I've never done massive... Or like staycations, I think people call it. Like you stay in the same country, you just go to somewhere else within the country. I've never really done that. Um, but we're going to go, we're going to do a staycation in the upcoming year with Maya. And if anybody has like knowledge of the areas, let me know. But we're either thinking, like we're thinking one of like the mountainy ranges. Hey, d -dum. We're thinking like Peak District, Lake District, that type of thing. So we can go on like nature walks with Maya. If anybody like knows a nice area and has got any advice, let me know. Staycations when you stay at home. Eh, I think the term got coined a lot more for staying in your own country with COVID. Mercy sank with my ship. What the hell? You are nuts, Stig. Stig just said, what DPI does everyone use on your mouse? You use 3200. 3200? I use 1200 and I think that's even quick. Thirty-two hundred. Yeah, like I use twelve hundred, and that's on the quick side. I remember when, like the the gaming mouse. I don't even know if they still do it, but like they became absolutely obsessed with just going. Look, our mouse can do five thousand DPI. It's like, yeah, that's the most pointless thing in the world. Six thousand four hundred max. Jesus. Why? I get a gank. A slow death will be their reward. Like FPS games, most FPS players will have it down around 400. Can I please Like gank man, please. Please give me a gank. Like, I know I'll outscale the Aurelia, but like, just one gank can get me to like win lane. I'll hack my way back to Everybody's, by the way, told me about Navori Quick Blades now on Gangplank, so I will be giving that a go. I don't know what's happened to make the item really good on him, but. Yeah. Hey, Wahoo! Ooh, I will just say, again, no massive pressure. Uh, if anybody obviously wants to try and help us get back to the happy number, would massively appreciate that. I'm trying not to be like overly stressed about it or anything. Um, give me an assist, baby. Yeah, if you want to help, uh, would massively appreciate it. Read the passive. Oh, is it bugs? 
Your abilities deal bonus damage based on your crit. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense for Gangplank. What's with the bug stuff? Is it actually bugged? Mid. You don't think it's bugged? Someone said it's bugged. Who said it's bugged? It does double damage. Huh. Is that not what it's intended to do? <laughs> You call Nocturne Jaws? Yeah, that's funny. Mm -mm. So yeah, my, my one death was bad. That's annoying. But she can't do as much now. Hello? What is that? Okay, you know when I said she can't do much now and then she instantly goes like completely and utterly all in. That was insane. That was kind of weird aggression though. Yeah, well, yes. Come on, me. There we go. Sedge. Sedge. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. She didn't move. That was a free kill. Oh, my. Okay. Note to self. Cannot trust this Sedjuani at all. Wow. What rating are we in? That is so bad. I cannot believe that, Sedge. Like, just completely and utterly AFK. Draw. That would have been completely good if she was paying attention. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Again, she knows she's done bad. Like, she hasn't done any ping at all. That's insane. Because I was like, oh, I can fight her. She's right here. A slit throat is too I wouldn't have taken that fight, but just to make it very clear, I would not have taken that fight if Sejuani wasn't there. But when your jungler is literally around the corner, you're like, oh, this is going to be free. And then she doesn't react. I think he's on it right now. And our bot lane is just being really overextended, but without checking. Oh, he's not. Hmm. Glad. Oh, she hit that nice. Never trust a build right. Front side. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. I lost my ship. Oh my what? That's insane! <laughs> wow, Aurelia can just do whatever she wants. Love lifesteal. Oh my god. What the hell can I even do with that? I don't even understand. Like, in what way could I not die there? Wow. I swear if I actually had a gank, we'd be fine. Like, genuinely. But I don't get ganks ever. 
Yeah, Blade of the Rune King has been busted for ages. Just Riot literally just ignores balance. That's more Bork than Aurelia. It's where we genuinely, there needs to be like a campaign. A campaign of basically going like the developers should actually play their game. It would make all the difference. Things have just got out of hand because they don't play the match. And hell, one of the people that are in charge played the match. And guess what? They actually got banned recently for inting. And they weren't inting. They were just playing that bad. The system said that they were inting. And he went into work the next day and unbanned himself. That's the people that are, like, are in charge of our game. Nice. Oh, nice Yumi ult. Didn't land though. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Why are you top lane? Bruh. It's, just, it's really annoying to me that we didn't get one gank. And like the one time that it would have been well, she was like AFK. Just so annoying. I cannot survive. She's dead though. God damn. God damn. Just so much damage. Her I by the way, just to put it clear, items did the most damage of anything she did. Mm. You know, that wasn't worth for her. Like, that was good technically for me. But she knows she can just tower dive me and guarantee to kill me. Which is a problem. But this is one of Gangplank's weakness. Always has been and always probably will be. He gets behind against something that can snowball. And it's not just an Aurelia, obviously. Um, he struggles. Massively. Yeah, the Sedge is not ulting. Oh god, Ricky, you pleb. Oh, she's just grouping mid. I guess because our bot lane is so transfixed in bot lane. Well, this is bad. Yay, well done, lads. You killed Kaiser. Good job. We've lost an inhib. Alt. the hex dragon you never know scaling it's not really on our side actually is it i'm three silver serpents away and one culmany in a way oh that's annoying <laughs> uh Relia's still dead. Oh my god, X Smithy, is that you?
him with everything. Hmm. I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. Ooh. Seemed quite nice. That didn't crowd you, sir. Hang them from the slaughter docks. He can probably just one shot me, is the problem. What? That's not terrible what just happened, I guess. People just remember it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's true for like all pros though. If they do one thing bad, it's a legacy, right? And it was just such a common thing for him as well to miss Sedgeult. Because Sedge was like his main pick for a season, wasn't it? Yeah, he he uh, he missed a lot of Sedgeult. Aren't they doing that? Dude, Aurelia and Noxen can be doing that right now. Okay. The worry's not active. How'd you get it to be active? Sixty percent. Okay. Turned back deserves a knife. Don't get comfortable in my I'm gonna have to buy two crit cloaks just to make it up active. Cool beans. Wild Turtle Triss jump, yeah. Whoa. That seemed high. I don't get why Vlad split bush, man. It weirds me out. I'm doing so much damage. I'm scared of Nocturne now, though. Why am I doing so much damage? What? I'm confused. <laughs> this item might actually be busted, huh? Oh, this Sejuani, man. That's a fed Vladimir, and we just annihilated him. Is I'm not fed at all. I'm behind as gangplank. That's kind of nuts. That's a weird overstay by Ezreal. Oh my god! Ezreal's dead, I'm pretty sure. What a really weird overstay by him. I don't know why he did that. Just give me time, team. Just give me time. That's not giving me time. 
That's really not giving me time. Hey, dude! Mr. Tactical, how's it going, man? Ult him, ult him, ult him, ult him. You know what your ultimate does, said Joani, by the way. Like, she just doesn't use her ult. Uh, Mr. Tactical, 63 months tier one sub. Thank you so much, dude. That's insane. Hope you're doing well, and thank you for being up around for a really long time. Don't get comfortable in my absence. When do I go for a mythic? I don't think I do. That's all right. More gold for me and I'm scaling. I can't end the game right now, so it's actually not that bad. Oh, this is good. Let's go, lads. He missed. Wah, wah. He overplayed it, but it's fine. I'm get Hydra. I think I want it. I think I want Prowlers. Yeah, I think if I did this again, I'd get Double Cloak, then nav finish Navari. Ooh, yeah. You can tell when I'm rusty on Gangplank because I always forget to actually do the ultimate upgrade. Nocturne's coming here. What are you doing? I honestly don't know. Tilt, maybe? Because he was never going to kill me. So this is the thing. I've never been a great Gangplank lane player, especially I've been I'm Rusty at the champion. I always am okay at Gangplank in late game, though. No? And we're getting the late game. If I can recover this match, I'd be very happy. Jesus. That's so much damage. <laughs> oh. This is insane. Catching up in farm as well. Oh, don't overdo it. Okay, I can't still take uh, Aurelia on. And I couldn't see anything, so I was heading north to go help. And a apparently Akali got out completely fine. Okay. Hey, Floral. My bad. I didn't know what was going on. Okay, I get Prowlers, which is good. I don't even know if I'm actually going to be able to beat this Aurelia at all. I'm not sure. All right, and then we either complete this. It's either Lord Dominic's or it's Infinity Edge. Okay, or do they share? Or they might... Do they share a thing? No, they don't. 
Hmm. She ulted! Oh my god. She knows what Sedge ult does. Jeez, that's so satisfying. Oh, you can't build. Oh, is it locked? Oh, right. Yeah, it's locked. You can't buy both. Right. Okay. Okay. I do so much damage if I'm allowed to do it. Dragon Soul. Cool. Force the Baron. It might just go mid. My oh, dude, my damage. Dude, Aurelia just focused the hell out on me. Wow. Wait, how did we lose it this badly? What? What just happened? Wow, we got wrecked! What just happened? I got focused by the Aurelia, so I died. But then how did the rest of everyone die? I don't know. Vlad? Was it Vlad? Yeah, this Aurelia has been focusing me the entire game. Obviously, rightfully so. Fair enough. Oh, is it Vlad Mummy? Because again, remember when he... he locks people down it makes vlad do more damage and vladimir makes other people do more damage too unfortunately that's going to be the game i think so that means gangplank is dead kind of suits it though because he kind of died in the law and then he came back and he might be back next year but yeah my lane phase really hurt me here but i will say it's always always going to be hard against an aurelia in lane phase a gank would have been lovely it really, really would have made the difference, you know, and that that play that trust me, a bit tilting. And I think most people would have got tilted by that play. Only reason I'm fighting an Aurelia is, oh, my uh, Sejuani's around the corner and she just doesn't pay attention. This Sej had a very oof to game, but it happens, I guess. Um, it's a shame, but it is what it is. So Gangplank is dead. Look, we're, we're just we're just playing to the law. That's that's what it is. That's what this. All right, so we did 27,000 damage. We actually did the most damage on my whole team. Um, and we did third most damage in the game, Vladimir, then the Aurelia. So to be honest, we did recover our game fairly well. Um, Ezreal, we've had a couple of Ezreals now, and they just seem a bit lackluster in terms of carry potential, but their Kaiser didn't really do anything either. But yeah, I don't know. That that last fight where we just they just annihilated us, you know, that was the end of the game. And they they had one person down. They had no Kaiser in that fight. She was dead. So that was a bad team fight. So anyway, that is gonna be it. If you guys did enjoy, a bit of an annoying game. Some ganks would have been absolutely wonderful from the Sedge, but she just didn't really want to come top, I guess. Um and it would have been easy to gank her. That's the thing. Aurelia was playing so aggressive that said you would have been able to gank time and time again and we probably would have killed her quite a lot but she just didn't oh is that flora just said that what ross did when he did this series that's quite a cool idea actually if you get a pentakill you re resurrect you can resurrect the champion again pentakills are very rare so maybe we'll keep that but we probably won't even get a penta uh, but anyway that's gonna be it if you guys enjoy throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe see you guys next time peace Crawl down the Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal peace.